the technologies we have available today are unfortunately inadequate in diagnosing the problem in the first place and then in trying to design the clinical treatment for them. What's available for us is the old and, if I may say, primitive technique of culture. It is unreliable on many accounts. One is because you have to take samples from representative areas. You then have to transfer them immediately to the lab. The sample has to then get processed as soon as possible. Then you have to put that sample in the right medium to isolate the organisms. And because of that, either we don't isolate the organisms at all, about 50% of PJI are culture negative across the globe. At my institution, where we pay huge amount of attention to this issue, we have about 35% culture negative infections. Still very challenging. One in three case doesn't have the infecting organism identified. The way we're working with Pathogenius Microgen DX now is we take three sets of samples from our patients. One is tissue from biofilm area, from the area that's most suspicious for infection. We take fluid if it's available. And then we also use a swab to swab the intramedullary canal, acetabulum, tibial canal, etc., and send it to Pathogenius. You can take 50 samples and you can put them all in the same bottle and send it to Pathogenius. In the lab, when they receive the samples, which is an overnight, they process them in two-step manner. The first step is running an amplification process to get the DNA material uh, identified. Then second is they will give you a quantitative as well as qualitative information regarding what organisms was present and in what percentage. So in a way that can actually guide you towards a clinical decision. Pathogenius or next generation sequencing goes a step beyond. In cases where we have no organism isolated, the culture negative cases, again, up to 50% in some centers, Pathogenius gives you a very useful information of what the organism is. And by the way, it can be gram negative, gram positive. In some samples, they have isolated fungi. And in the near future, we'll give you the antibiotic resistance of the organism, which will certainly have a role in guiding your clinical decision-making.